Hey, I'm about to do <coughs> a general spirit message for the sign of Sagittarius, my fellow Sagittarius, sisters and bros, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the animal medicine card for Sagittarius. So, it could be like your spirit animal during this time or even like the um, animal with the best medicine for you. In whatever situation you're going through, whatever time you're watching it, in the two weeks after that time when you watch it, I just saw this one, but I keep shuffling. I feel like you could be like in a very calm, tranquil state of mind, like peaceful, um despite what's going on around you so what y'all got is personal choice with the out <laughs> see it's funny because i was my spirit animal well it has been for most of my life so i actually kind of look like an owl but anyway it's not about me but the owl is at the bottom so it could be a lot of Sagittarius with the same spirit animal which is the owl I feel like I want to take this and also personal choice close your eyes whatever animal comes to your brain at that time where you feel most connected to um do a google search put the animal in with spiritual meanings and see what messages you can get from that but with the owl I feel like uh, some Sagittarius have the same spirit animal as me because I was at the bottom. Was it at the bottom or was it also, was it just randomly flipped over? Because at the bottom is the lizard. It was just flipped over on top. So definitely taking that. So you have very like sharp intuition. You have the ability to see in the dark. You can say a lot of things and then later on people will say, you know what? Like you can say things that people completely not understand where you're coming from. But then those same people a lot of times will come back to you and be like, oh, I know what you meant about this. Or I know what you were saying about um, this situation I was in or what you meant about a particular person or like not feeling right about them or like... um. You just catch on to things a lot faster than most people in like years before most people catch on to it. It's like a lot of the times you might find that people ride your wave. It's like things that they don't fuck with and then you start doing it and they still kind of don't fuck with it. But then they'll end up seeing the value in it because it's like you are a, um, a leader you have like spiritual mm, what is the word like foresight the ability of like foresight but the card says our oh, magic so yeah you can be like a natural witch which sounds I mean depending on your programming it may sound crazy to hear natural witch but it's pretty much if you've ever manifested anything, if you ever put all your energy, put your time, your passion, your money, your emotions into something to manifest it, then you're a witch. And seekers out, like, okay? Now, a sorcerer is something totally different, but that's for a whole nother video. But um, a sorcerer pretty much is someone who's... Who, <laughs> Just real quick, y'all. Just real quick. Somebody who uh uses natural like forces, uses their magic to interrupt someone else's free will pretty much. So people who put spells on other people, uh love spells, hate spells, whatever the fuck weird shit people do. That's called sorcery. Even down to like modern day medicine is kind of like sorcery. That's why it always has hella side effects. But anyway, like I said, though, I was ready to go into a whole nother video. So it says, choose to know, choose to know the truth because you can open your inner vision. You can see through deception, let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Okay. 
So, what is the message for Sagittarius? I only pray to the Creator. I only get messages from um, the Creator. His angels that He created for us to help us evolve. Um, spirit guides or ancestors. No lower entities can influence my messages or my readings ever. I do what I have to do to make sure that is the case. So, that's just for people who are wondering, like, what spirit is she getting messages from? So, can I get six cards for Sagittarius? The Lovers is the first card out, so it may be a love message. Let's see. I can find more cards for Sagittarius. So the lovers, ten of wands, and chariot coming out first. I feel like if this is for Sagittarius who either has found the craft that they love to do or feel like they found their life path or their life purpose. But I feel like during the two weeks after you see this message, if it resonates with you, it's going to be a lot of work you have to put into whatever this purpose is. If it is about like a lover, a real life love relationship, it's like it's going to be... A lot of work you have to put into it or you're going to be feeling um burdened by it it's either because of it being a long distance between you and this person or it's because it's just going to be a lot of work to get to the goal that you want to get to but i feel like it's really telling you to get on the chart and stay on it pretty much that's pretty much saying like um have tunnel vision during this time tunnel vision focused on your sun i always say the chariot is like going full speed ahead towards the sun the sun being the positive most like the best outcome you see for yourself your life if it's about love your love life so it's pretty much saying um push through whatever this ten of wands energy is it's a burdensome thing um that's pretty much standing between your dreams. Like you having a dream and you reaching your dream. There seems to be like a lot of like things coming against you or, or like coming in your way or trying to block your way. But I feel like it's telling you with the chariot being there, like... You can get there if you just push past this or if you just drop the burden of somebody or something. It could be like arguments, disagreements, and conflicts is what's stopping you from going towards a person or what's stopping you from going towards a dream or you feel like it's a lot of competition because the five of wands could be about competition. So... I'm just going to clarify and make to see if it's about love or not. At the bottom of the deck is temperance, which is us, Sagittarius people. It's the major arcana for Sagittarius. If you are dealing with somebody, it could be any sign. But the sign that I see here is Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio. Okay? But it could be any sign, like I said. Um, why is the lovers here in the Ten of Wands? Seven of Wands, okay. So I feel like I'm talking to a Sagittarius who's probably blocking out love. They're not really about their love shit. Like, they because they feel like it comes with a lot of heaviness. And it's like delaying their chariot like it's slowing their chariot from getting to whatever goals that you have for yourself you're like 
love is kind of in the way. So I'm kind of having my guard up when it comes to love to avoid the burden of it. Okay. Okay. I understand. So it's telling you in order to get in into alignment with what it is that you want to manifest or what is in your highest good is the death card. So it could be some type of transformation or accepting some type of change. Could also be a Scorpio person who can support you in a situation. Or if you have a lot of options, and a Scorpio is one of them, I feel like it's telling you maybe the Scorpio is your best option. Or um, if not, if none of that applies, <laughs> then I feel like doing things differently than you have in the past. So if you have been the type to carry these burdens with you, I feel like it's telling you, like, carry shit with you that's not your responsibility to carry. Try to fix shit that's not your responsibility to fix. If that's what you're used to doing, it's telling you to completely change that behavior. Like, transform that. Do it completely differently than you have in the past. And actually see what dropping burdens and not carrying shit with you that's not necessary for you to carry. How that will actually, like, change your path forward. It's telling you naturally with something you're going to have to deal with during this time period is like people coming against you. People trying to argue with you or trying to like distract you from where it is you're trying to go. People who may be trying to convince you that your path is not the right path for you just because it's not their path. Other stupid shit that's like you don't really want to deal with. And the final ones is like you could easily, you could very easily get into an argument during this time period, the two weeks after whenever you see it, you can ar easily get into arguments with people, physical fights with people, or like um, go back and forth with people about what is best for you versus what is best for them or whatever. But I feel like it's telling you to not be impulsive because the Knight of Wands is coming out for some something that you need to avoid. So avoid being impulsive and doing what it is that you feel like um well y'all know what impulsive mean why the fuck am i going to try to explain um so pretty much think about your long-term goals before you act on situations because people are going to try to fucking throw you off with this ten of wands being right at top right over top of this five of wands it's like you can see in the dark they could even try to be like underhanded or like shady but it's like with the owl coming out and the owl seeing in the dark it's like you see people's intentions. You can feel people's intentions. And I feel like people are going to be very clearly to you playing dumbass games and trying to throw you off. And um, I feel like it's telling you not to react. You can respond, but after you take, in con take into consideration where you're trying to go, like, do you even want to take these people with you? Do you even want to be on the same page as these people? Do you want to let them, like, block where you're trying to go or delay where you're trying to go? Um, I feel like it's people intentionally trying to throw you off with the snakes in here. But you know, you know who these people are with the owl coming out. But I feel, I guess it's just spirit wanting to reiterate um, what you may be suspecting about a person or a group of people who you may already feel like or know for whatever reason is against you or trying to stop you from, stop your chariot from getting to its destination pretty much. And if it's about love with the lovers being there, it could be people literally trying to uh, get in your person's ear and to like distract them or lie to them about who you are in order to stop them from getting on the chariot with you and you two getting to where you wanted to be together. To be like people just trying to get in the way of what y'all trying to build. Which in my opinion, like that shouldn't be possible, but it could be family, it could be friends.
Okay. Okay. So I wanted to pull one, the three fell out. And then one of them has, has the owl on it. So now I know, well, I already knew that owl came out for a good reason. But now it's just more validation, I guess. And it has the peacock on it. And the crow, I think that's a crow. It says visions of life beyond death. Yeah, this crow. So, I feel like this is about after you drop this burden, release something that you've been carrying, like I said, willingly, probably all your life or um, since childhood or just something you've been carrying for a long time. And it's like seeing what it's like to finally release or put that down could be people or things you've been carrying with you or mindsets it says relax and hold of relax the hold of darkness and be at cause i feel like i'm gonna read this because i feel like it's a very much it's like a surrender energy and she's naked so she's not trying to take anything with her that's um unnecessary into where she's trying to go it's like she's trying to transcend or go to another level I never read the message for this card. Um, but it's the number eight, which is about infinity. So trying to level up spiritually or in life in general. In general and um, releasing baggage, even with the sacred fool. She's naked again. So it's like a vulnerable surrender type energy. And the fool, sacred fool, just reminds me of the fool card. And it's about like... Um, Taking risks and being authentically yourself, regardless of what the fuck these five of wands people want to throw you off by saying or doing. Um, yeah, I want to read number 26 for Sagittarius. says dear sacred rebel this moment in your life requires great courage fortunately you possess that in a bucket loads <laughs> in bucket loads you are being asked to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of known reality and into the next level of higher voltage reality higher voltage reality requires a more absolute trust in a heart that is surrendered into the greater heart of the universe so that Life can happen to us, through us, and with us more quickly, more radically, more beautifully, and more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things happen quickly and according to bold, loving optimism. This is a reality not only of potential, but a manifestation of the great, big, cosmic yes. Reminds me of that chariot, but you keep reading. To access this reality, you have to leap from known waters with that sacred fool. And others may think you are crazy with this five of wands. <laughs> others may think you are crazy for doing so. You have to leave behind the dark, weighty grip. Ten of wands, all about dark weight burdens of hesitation, procrastination, second guessing, and the belief that you have to do everything on your own. You may fear for your life. How will you be safe in the wild electric pulse of so much aliveness? How will you function without the hazy, sleep-induced paralysis of playing it safe? Taking too long and placing lesser priorities above your sacred art of life. How will you hold yourself back if you don't hold on to fear? You do not need to worry about such things. Life is wild, but it is also wise. It is a force of startling, raw awakening at times, but it is also the natural process of evolution where all things mature according to a seasonal cycle in its right timing. You are a part of, not apart from, that process. 
this invitation to shift gears and jump on board <laughs> on board of that chariot but okay and jump on board the express train of life will feel exhilarating and perhaps also challenging what the five wants when you are in the <laughs> in the hold of darkness you will feel pushed to turn away mm. to imagine it is all too much and to create excuses about how to, your desires aren't grounded enough. But this five of wands can also be about in, internal conflict. But I feel like it's internal and external conflict. But okay. And, I, and to create excuses about how your desires aren't grounded enough. That you are being too flighty or flaky. Or that you are not living in the real world. That is a fear. That is fear talking. Not truth. If... The sacred rubble is not awakened. We will continue to live in a culture drenched in fear and distrust of nature. Those without awakening hearts don't yet understand what nature knows. She knows time and she knows life and death. She knows the creative process. She just knows and can be trusted to support us, her own creatures, and becoming all that we can become. Okay. Does that mean that we become passive and just flow along like a limp leaf? No. Being free of the dark hold being free of the dark hold empowers us to take up our cause. This means being free to act and affirm the intuitive feelings we have with that owl by following up on them. This is painting like someone who has lost their mind, completely free and free. And from the heart it means writing even though you have no conscious idea of what you are writing even as the words are streaming forth upon the page before you rather curi before your rather curious eyes okay and it means speaking about your work never hiding it away allow it to breathe the fresh air and be held in a gaze of another detached from darkness that would say it is not enough or must be the best thing ever, whatever that means, in order to be worthy of a place in the world instead, just let it be what it is. It might fly, it might endure, and it might not. All of nature, including you and your passions and dreams, will be what is needed, okay, when it is needed, and how it is needed according to wisdom. We just have to trust in this within ourselves and within nature herself through the flow of life and participate you are asked to go within and imagine diving deep off the edge like the fool does diving deep off the edge of what you have known there is so much more calling to you now it's time leap okay so hopefully it's made sense for some Sagittarius out there hope y'all enjoyed thanks for watching peace